Hello everybody and welcome to Real Life Wednesdays here on The Crunch where we share the stories of everyday people highlighting their extraordinary choices. Now, today's guest defines extraordinary in the best possible way. She has a very unique story and it is my delight to share it with you. She's coming on and we'll be crunching down on her story on the show. My guest today is a very unique individual, and very shortly you will find out why. Her name is Dr. Ade Dumola Oluo. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, pretty awesome. That's what you are. Tell us why. Tell, our, tell your viewers at home why. Okay. Um, first of all, like you said already, I'm a medical doctor. Yes. And secondly, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. And I take both seriously. Mm -hmm. I have four businesses four. that I was running in Hungary mm -hmm. before I came to Nigeria last month. Okay. And um, the first one is Hair by Dado. Okay. So like a hairstylist job okay. and caters for students in Hungary. Yeah. Oh. And then secondly is the Dado Cooks. Okay. <laughs> Hungary is somewhere you can't find Nigerian food. So mm -hmm. I had to make sure that I serve people like nostalgic home food, especially mm -hmm. Yoruba food because I'm mm -hmm. Yoruba girl. Mm -hmm. So I love yeah. Yoruba food. Yeah. And um, I started catering to students, but not on a regular basis, just when I can cook like in bulk for students and all that. Okay. Then the main passion for me now is Dedun's Cakes. Okay. It's a four year cake business. I just wow. started to learn how to bake like out of the blues. Yeah. And it became a business from just one person ordering my cake. Okay. And now that's like the main thing I'm known for in wow. terms of my businesses. Okay. Dedun's Cakes. And lastly, <laughs> about uh, eight months ago, yeah. I just found like interest in makeup. And I said, why not just watch YouTube videos <laughs> and learn how to make up people? And is that how you used to do? So I cannot play with you. No. <laughs> really? No. Are no, you no. serious? Yeah, yeah. And I created Bell Artistry by Dado and it's wow. a six months makeup business. Wow. And I did that while in my final year of school and miraculously I was able to graduate in September Amazing. as wow. a medical doctor. Congrats. Thank you first. very much. <laughs> so were you one of those kids who was always selling stuff? How did you start this your entrepreneurship drive? Uh, okay, my friend, there was a friend that was like, she needed someone to braid her hair for her. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can do this. And that was how I started. See, that's actually. how you started all your businesses. <laughs> oh, I can do this. <laughs> no, but that one actually, that one actually learned how to make hair in Nigeria. Like okay. growing up, I was always like making my cousin's hair. Even mm -hmm. in secondary school, I was okay. always assisting the hairstylist there. Okay. So making hair was something I just knew how to do, but yeah. I never thought it was going to be a business. Yeah. And um, from braiding the girl's hair, you know, it just turned to a business. I don't mm -hmm. know. It always just turns to a business. <laughs> and the cooking, obviously, you love to cook. Yes, yes. And I then I'm sure you have friends. Oh, let me come and eat in your house. Exactly, then. but I chase them away. And then they, they have to pay for it. Yes. So you have a very strong entrepreneurial drive. Do you get it from a parent? Yeah, my mom. Uh -huh. My mom and my brother, actually. Oh, okay. I think in my house, it's only my mom that practiced a degree with a degree. Okay. My brother is an engineer, but he ended up working in a bank. Okay. And now he's an entrepreneur. Okay. But basically, I think he runs in the family. Mm -hmm. I just never thought I would follow in that full step. I mean, yeah, because you are a medical doctor. Yes. That's, that's what your attention is going to be on. But now you're back to Nigeria. So what's happening with you? Uh, I'm not fully back yet. I just came to see whether you know, you will come back. I'll come back. Because <laughs> everyone is saying, don't go back. There's recession in Nigeria. Don't go back. But I feel like um, if one keeps running away from Nigeria, then who is actually going to help make Nigeria better? Especially people that are in the diaspora. See, I just wanted to interrupt at that point to tell you that this is a better person. Because I, I, I tell you, I say this thing all the time. Go on. Yeah, so I felt if everyone in the diaspora, like they've seen better life, they can actually bring it back to Nigeria. So mm -hmm. I actually enrolled myself in a business school. In a business school to do it. MSc in e health oh. management. Yeah, so it's about mm -hmm. like telemedicine. Yeah. And it's like the future of medicine. So mm -hmm. I feel if I can be professional in that field, I can actually then make can. the health sector in Nigeria a better movement better. and mm -hmm. you know, upgrade the health system. Okay. So that's my reason for actually coming back to Nigeria. It's more for the medical side because medical doctors are actually running away. Yes. I heard that last year about hundred thousand doctors migrated out of Nigeria mm. because there's no good pay or I even job. Condition time. So I feel I don't mind coming back home. Everybody's telling me to do it against it, but I feel if I keep running away, then when will I have the time to come back to Nigeria? So that's why you're that's here. yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we'll continue exploring all the wonderful things that Dedun has planned. <laughs> 